Welcome back to the Moby Third Thursday. My name is Joshua Garrett. I am the IT Director here at Moby, and we're going to be discussing the administrative interface today, specifically the billing and usage portion of that interface. Uh, our administrative interface, like much of Moby, is role-based uh, and based on the user's group with, that they are a member of. Uh, that role and group-based um, setup allows for uh, someone logging in to view information that is relevant to them. So a program administrator can take a look at the entire program, uh, an end user can take a look at just their own bill, and a manager can uh, take a look at her subordinates as well as her own bill. So it's a very powerful way of disseminating information without allowing everyone to see everything as it relates to your program. Taking a look at the Moby billing and usage platform then, uh, when we first come in here we see the bill overview. Uh, we can see the number of lines that we're managing, the total charges we're managing, the charges by category, and Moby takes care of ensuring that the different billing formats from your carriers are put into like categories. We look at the average charges over a period of time, the charges by carrier, in this case we've got four carriers available, and then look at specific line shots or line snapshots within this uh, um, tool. So this way we can actually click on any individual user and look at their specific usage um, for that month. Uh, again, only if we are allowed to see that end user's charges. So going back to the overall um, uh, portal, what we're able to see here with the billing and usage uh, is, you know, if we come to the bill overview, I can see all the information that's available to me right away. Uh, and these are all the charges that we talked about earlier, the lines. But I can then filter that information to look at something very specific to me. So if I take a look at last billing period, for example, I want to take a look at um, everyone that had a Sprint or Verizon line that was in a smartphone. I can look at information that is uh, specific to HR. I can look at specific group information that can be loaded. Uh, so if I wanted to look at a specific group within the organization, I can even go down to specifically users without a plan, for example. When I apply all of these changes uh, into the tool, it's going to then uh, turn out for me the, the uh, data relative to those filters. So in this case, if I was looking for Sprint and Verizon lines, I've got 1,735 lines here. Uh, total charges, the average snapshot, you can see the breakdown here between Sprint and Verizon. And then I can look at the line snapshots themselves. If this is a report that is uh, very important to me, I can then go ahead and favorite this report. So if I call this, for example, the uh, Verizon report, this might be something that uh, I want to come into every day and take a look at this report. Well, here now, within my favorites, I now have the Verizon report that when I click on, I'm going to be taken specifically to that ad hoc report that I had requested. So this is a way of very quickly creating a report within the report builder and only having to create it once. And then you're able to come in as often as you want and pull that report right up within the interface. The other thing that we realize is that certain reporting information is going to want to be exported or sent to your users. So if I click export, I can now choose to send it to a group of users here. I can choose which results I want to send, what result set. But the important thing too is I can schedule this report. So I could say I want to send every individual user uh, their own bill once a month via PDF. I can create that export within here, and then within my scheduled report section, it's going to show up for me, and once a month, it's going to send each individual end user their own bill. So it's a very powerful way of disseminating information throughout the organization and not requiring end users to come into the portal to view information that maybe you want to push to them in instead. Uh, what I can also do then is I can also build specific information related to uh, things like line snapshots. So looking at the line snapshot here, uh, if I wanted to add information here, I can go ahead and uh, edit this report. We can look at all the different pieces of information we can now add into this report. So we've got inventory information, we've got business information, we've got carrier information, we've got line information, we've got uh, device information. All of this can be then built in. So if I wanted to add, for example, let's say the business name, the carrier name, and the area code, I can now apply those changes. And very quickly now, it's going to build the line snapshot report for me. And as I mentioned up above, 
when I, when I favorited that page, it's going to then have those favorites applied to it as well. So again, if there's data or reports that you need to uh, review uh, on a regular basis, uh, you're able to come into the portal and immediately have it available to you. Uh, there's also CAN reports available in here, so zero usage reports, for example, cost breakout reports, bill overview reports. Uh, with some carriers, we even have live usage reports available. So that is all, again, reports that might help you optimize. Uh, again, Moby's going to help you with the optimization as well, uh, but it's giving you full visibility to your program. I hope this was uh, helpful for you to get a very brief overview of the bill, uh, billing and usage section of Moby. The administrative interface is very robust. Uh, there's additional sections on support, on inventory, and other uh, features within billing and usage that are also very helpful. Uh, I would encourage you to reach out to your Mobi representative to learn more and to schedule an in-depth demo uh, to learn more about what Mobi could do to help with your wireless program.